as worry attends on Gadda's you know, United Nations General Assembly, so Nigerian groups clash in New York over state of nation. Southern Middlebelt Alliance slams Northern Elders Forum on North plots to retain power. CBN says attacks on Emifile based on new forex policy. North's huge population claims spurious, says at Debanjo. Uh, APC battles crisis in 23 states and Oyo PDP kicks as faction passes vote of no confidence in Makindi. Which story? Major headline? So major headline. Um, by Edwin, um, Edwin Clark has um, questioned the situation of the naval base in Kano, saying that, you know, coastal states, in, in his words, let me quote him quickly, he says, it should be economic viability that should inform this decision and the practicability of the naval base. We know a naval base works on coastal lines. And now all the coastal states that make, that make up the Niger Delta are poor presently. They don't have naval bases that are active. But you are going to locate another base on an 100 hectare land provided by the governor in the middle of the desert. It has to be practical or not. And I think this is not an issue of Edwin Clark against Buhari. This is an issue of a failing national assembly. Because according to him, the only uh, naval institute, uh, naval base was in Sapele and it's been left to deteriorate. So we're saying, if, they, if it was in Sapele in a coastal area and they abandoned it to deteriorate, why do you think one on the, in the middle of Kanu will be left to work? You need to put, see the, uh, the, the issues he mentioned, security, economic viability, coastal areas. These are what should inform what a naval base would do. Where would they get the, the level the of um, uh, uh, ocean needed, the level of water needed for training? Um, and you have to then transport them. You can have other security agencies that are land uh, um, needed to, and need land to work like the Nigerian Army or something, located in that place, not a naval base. I was, listening to the radio, I was listening to the radio this morning, and one of the hosts on the radio show was saying eh, that America has... Um, Never um, bases on in land areas. Yes. But Edwin Clark, in his own article, says, don't compare yourself to America. Do you know how many never bases... He said the Mississippi that you're making uh, uh, so, is surrounded mm. by water. That state that you're saying the level base is in the middle of a state is surrounded by water. So they have something to work with. I cannot imagine no, okay. what's informed. But I it's think, not our hot topic today. Uh, no, it's not, just no, we, just need, we need the president to respond, respond on practical reasons why you know. This is not about ethnicity. I hate to argue. Because ethnicity. they were saying uh, there are rivers in, in Kano. We have to run. Okay. Okay. Not, I mean, it's not that kind of river we are talking about. I know. We can I know. take on front page review. When we come back, we want our hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Mimi, where's your mommy? A major part of being a parent is being present. I struck out. And the winner is Mimi Idris. Stay in the picture no and be the parent you want to be. Call 0700 AXA Mansard today to speak to an AXA financial advisor. After a long, hard day at work, coming home to a serene environment is very important. How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress, makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script. Check. Are we set in the VCR? All team in place? VCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup. Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script. Check. Are we set in the VCR? All team in place? VCR. Check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. 
your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Is that how you're going to say it? Oh, you to say it. Oh, you're going 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 to say it. Oh, you're How we're doing, guys, is the makeup in progress. Makeup. Check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script. Check. Are we set in the VCR? All tip in place? VCR. Check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How would. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. Thanks for staying with us. So, we would have preferred not to talk about Femi Fanika Odi today. But the truth is, we saw a video where Nigerians were singing a song that Nigerians usually sing in church. My helper, oh, my helper, my helper, oh. And then we saw him coming down from the car, greeting them, appreciating their cheers. And we thought about it and said, listen, Sometimes we have to tell each other the truth on how we relate with our leaders or people we admire or we, um, well, admire is too good a word. I'm talking people that, that mm. are supposed to, yeah, we celebrate. that we celebrate. So the conversation is, many people saw that and found it distasteful. However, we all do it somehow in little, different ways. When we see political leaders, we see rich people, we see people that we feel that we need them for something or we are seeking favors from them. And we celebrate them even if, if the truth is that we don't like what they do, we don't like what they stand mm. for. We don't have the confidence to say to their face, but because of what we need, we are psychophants around them. So the conversation is, how do we begin to talk to each other as citizens on knowing how to preserve your dignity as a person? Especially because at times like this, 
We need real leaders. We need to celebrate uh, um, um, integrity, celebrate people who are doing the right thing. So that's the conversation. You, we saw that video, and we're probably going to play it at some point so that we can see it. But it's not just about them. It's about oh, all of us, Nigerians, in different ways, shapes, or fashion. We all do it. I don't want to use the word that comes to mind on television. It's not the appropriate word. But it's something X, Y, Z leaking. <laughs> These leaders, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's what we do somehow. So how can we begin to take them for who they are, which are servant leaders? They are supposed to serve us. So those people shouldn't be there singing those kind of praises. They should be there to ask questions. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me start with Nima. So what those women did for me is the least of the psycho fancy. Those are our women supporters probably for the day's earning of maybe in the highest 10,000 naira per person. So they are, you know, being videoed, praising him. Usually they'll go there. The late Saraki used to have women trek for hours in Kwara State to get every Friday to get what he called a, a sadaka from those women. And they called them and, want, you know, and we saw when the drama happened in Kwara, some of those women would rather die than have that. Remember, they're the tackle fans. They're the ones that will vote, uh, remember? Now. But no, they were, they, those ones, were, they, you can't even compare that late Saraki to the Fanikayo, the no, 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 they can't be compared because he, he did it consistently till death for those women. But for me, the issue is the relationship between Mr. President and Fanny Kayode. Is either that 100% truth or 100, in every 100% falsity, there's 1% truth is the situation or something is wrong. Like YK said, I would not, if it was me, be associated with him for the level and looseness of tongue. Someone who is careless with what he says part time, cannot be trusted with what he says, comes out and defames me. Not even an apology publicly to me, which would bring me to a point where he's defecting and I'm the one receiving him. The party can receive him. The truth is, in one of the videos that I shared on my Instagram page, I listened to that video over and over again, and how he was talking to um, in then, and assuring him of a division that I could not see in my immediate neighborhood, telling him that you know the north and the eastern agenda, you know. And after that video, and I saw the picture of the president, I said it's either what he said about the pre president's agenda being total northern was false. and selfish was there's a percent of truth in it, or the president something is wrong with him being associated with him again. I will not. Okay, so, well, so I was going to the ask. president now, in this case now, is also a psychophant in this case, because someone of his character should not should be vehemently big against. So in fact, yeah. they used to call it in days ostracized. Mm. In Islam, they would say, do not take his witness for anything. Okay, so that so he cannot be a witness in a criminal case against anybody, even in a civil matter. His <laughs> word cannot be trusted. So, so, okay, I was going to focus on, on the us, psychophancy, no. the people. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. you've taken us to a point where we're not critically analyzing. Let us even understand what, what, at, what, at, what is at play here. Mm -hmm. On the president's side, the people's side, uh. from even the, poli the political party side, uh. and the person, what exactly the people are asking, what is at play? What, exactly. what is happening? Who is aligned with who? To what objective? Because many no, of us are outside the circles. I mean, I try really hard not to get into those circles. I mean, as much as they pull me, I try to stay where I am because this is my lane. So maybe somebody can call us in and explain to us what exactly is happening, this alignment that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. And this cycle of over cycle fans that we're seeing, let me come to Maram, your yeah. thoughts on, on, the, on the women fancy. and yeah. all the celebrations and how we as a people are with our leaders. Yeah, so the danger, we know cycle fancy and politics go hand in hand. I feel that they, they, they feed off each other mm. because you have, to, um, you have to have those praise singers um, sort of, you know, encourage you and give you the confidence that you are liked. And people have turned that psycho fancy knowing they use it, knowing that um, this is also another way where they can gain favor from the person that they are trying to push. So that happens. But the truth is, for us Nigerians, for those of us who want better leaders, who want those that will represent us, who do that in honesty and, you know, and truthfully, 
we need to realize that when we praise people that are not deserving of praise, it backfires mm -hmm. on us. Mm -hmm. So you may get the 10,000 naira for the day, mm -hmm. but then your praises have put in someone in office who do, does not deserve to be there and who will calculate every 10 naira he's giving you mm -hmm. and it takes times 100 of what he has given you. So it's important that we know that this has an effect on us. Be careful who you push out there just because of what you want for today. And that's why when people talk about the votes, we tend to leave it for only when it's election period. But this psychophancy is all year long, through the years, before elections come. You're constantly praising someone. But that is at the local level. We have a new form of psychophancy. The brand, personality, mm. image makers. They know who this person is. They know what he stands for. They understand that he does not really have the qualities or has the credentials. But they know the words and things that they use to make this image. Because at the end of the day, it costs money to do that, and mm. they'll be paid money. Mm. So everybody's mm. in there for the money that they can get for themselves. Right. Right. Yesterday on the show, you were saying something about how do we get people not to um, push things. You were talking about um, our Nigerians in diaspora, mm. where they seem to be doing things only for themselves. Like, they get me, the opportunity, yes, me, myself, and I. And that is what we're doing to with the cycle fantasy. It's like, I don't care about the Nigerian po problem. For me and my family, I'm going to use this guy 10, and get some money mm. and mm. keep it aside. So that is what we're doing at different levels. And no one can point to anyone and say, oh, it's those that are not educated. Because the educated ones are doing it in an educated but, way. Yeah. We're all cycle fans. We're all in different ways. So, so the, the real conversation is, how do we begin to help Nigerians to look at this in a different, from a different way? Because I really want us to use FFK's situation. Mm -hmm. It is such a learning curve and a learning opportunity for many Nigerians. So we said it yesterday that what not to be, who not to be, is, is, is this man right here. But there, I, I, my question, my next question, and I'm coming to you, YK. Yes, we are all psychophants. We, we, we are all in this situation now where we all need something or the other. But if we desire real leaders, if we desire true leaders, what can we, how can we talk to each other to change our perspective on how we see them? Because I would like to see a leader and greet him in a decent, respectful way and move on. I don't have to loiter around you mm -hmm. to see if something will drop and everything. But that's the mentality. You, people just stick around you just in case something just drops. Why do we always do that? Well, you see, I think... It's our orientation. Because I, I was going to go back to when Babangida was president. And I remember then, um, is that the video? That's the video. <laughs> so it's showing now. <laughs> See, they're all singing. I, think, I wish we could get some audio for, so that for those who haven't seen it. So that's funny trying to come down. They are there singing, my helper. See that? See <laughs> me. And then he comes down. Van Damme. Hey, hey, actual. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that. She's, she's worshipping him. Worship. Praise and worship. Obviously. Wait, how, how did we get here? Obviously, how, it's, how it's here? stage managed. Um, for me, that is obviously stage managed. But I was going to go to right, when so. Babangida was president. And I remember everybody was criticizing him June 12, everybody. And a few years went by, and suddenly he came to Lagos for an event. As he walked into that event, everybody, that was there. Uh, there are all part of the people that have abused him. June 12, this, they all stood up and cheered this man on. He came in like a king. And all the people who had criticized, because everybody is looking for their own stomach infrastructure. Until we now, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with meeting a power person. But, I mean, I will not meet someone who now and start saying, ah, sir, please, sir, thank you, sir, good morning, sir. No, because we are all human. So when we start to treat everybody like a human being and don't just think, oh, because he's there, what am I going to And if we don't start to teach ourselves now, this trillion, trillion that they say they are borrowing, uh. <laughs> 
because we will accept it. Mm -hmm. We will accept anything just for now. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that Nigerians, we don't think of future. We only think of now. Yes. We only think, ah, what is my gain right gain. now? Mm -hmm. Not what is my gain in future. Exactly. Which is what we or what about. is the gain of my children in future? No, we don't right. think it's that far. What will I me, me gain? And I. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, I, I was working with somebody and she was telling me that when they give out contracts to people, you do all the work to get the contract and then they run away with the money. Mm -hmm. They don't care. So, because I was asking, because I was telling you, like, why, why, because, you know, with our outside, when you see Lagos State, you think, ah, Lagos State, we want to get a contract. Wait, but when I started working with the, with the, with the, with the, the Commission of Education, and I saw the process for somebody to just collect, and I go, ah, this process is so difficult. People think that you just come here and just collect money and go. No, it's a very, very stringent process to collect one naira from the government. But after that long process, you now get the money, you won't even do the job. You just run away with it. Mm. That is why people like that should be arrested. Yes, it's because, no, because there are no consequences. Yes. Where, where have you heard that they successfully prosecuted and jailed somebody who did that? We have millions who did in the past. There's a particular That's project the right before my nose. Every time I drive there, I cry because I, it has been awarded eight times already. Okay. Hmm. Eight times. And commissions, they will come and commission, they will start the project. Eight times. Eight times, and the communities are supposed to benefit from it. Let, I watch let, it. Let's every go day. on a break. When we come back, we're going to continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be.
Thanks for staying with us. So we're still dissecting Femi Fanica, it is um, with the, his, the reception he got from his praise, <laughs> praise, singers. praise singers in his house. And um, comparing that to how we Nigerians treat leaders or people who we see are wealthy, how we sing their praises, and if this is sustainable or how we can even begin to retrace our steps to treat them as they should be treated as servant leaders. Let me take Bright. Good morning, Bright. Are you there? Hi, guys. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, let me start by saying that um, I think if everybody has his right to defect or not to. So. Secondly, I also feel that at somebody like Fanny Coyote, for me, it beats my imagination up till now that anybody would take him serious. Because even if he defected to APC, what, what is the blog vote that Fanny Coyote will give to anybody who wants to be president? Yes, and you know, it's so funny that even the Khan, I remember Khan, say at the point in time that he's the next president of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It is that bad because he has this thing with his mouth, just like one of you said there, that when he started saying this rhetoric, everybody seems to believe him. But you know what? I said to somebody that is not peculiar to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We saw what happened in the, in the U.S. As bad as some people feel Donald Trump is, some people still feel that it's the best thing that has happened to America. Yeah. So for me, I think <laughs> we youth should change the method. Populate APC, populate PDP, and when it comes to the primary, make sure you are a member, a carry member, I'm not talking of social media members. I'm not talking of Facebook members. Go into these two parties, be a delegate, and vote who you think represent your your mm. your your, your okay. interest. And thirdly, is to the fact that just like everybody, we are we are all equal. It's only in Nigeria that look I work in an organization where the head of the organization asked me to call him by name. Because he said we are equal. When we travel out of that country, we take the same per diem. We stay in the same hotel. He cannot say because he's my boss. Then he will stay in a certain hotel, and then I'll stay in another one. Until we start addressing this thing to make everybody know that we're equal, whether small or big. Because at the end of the day, when we vote, it's only one that I have that you have. Thank, Thank you, very you very much, much. Bright. So Bright has opened the door. I think I'd like to stay on for a minute. Um, so Fanica could be in APC for a good reason. Maybe mm -hmm. he has gone there to actually help clean up. Mm -hmm. Or he could have gone there... I mean, let us see the brighter side. So, okay, how useful is a panicardi? His cantankerous nature can help in maybe scattering everywhere there or being a spokesperson for the party because obviously he's good with words. Yes. Maybe they desperately need somebody who is speaking for the party. So maybe there's, maybe there's a reason, you know. So if we can look at the, the, the silver lining here for the usefulness of a panicardi in APC. And if we can make sense of it, as I said, we are not politicians. We don't know the political cards that is playing. Well, as Nigerian citizens, we're only trying to imagine, you know, why a man like this would be invited or would defect to APC. Okay, so it's about, uh, I can see why a political party, a political party would associate with him, mm. not a person. So the political parties, what they want is they want more votes. They want people to be talking about them, they want more support. And somebody like a Fanny Kayade, who has the gift of the garb, I mean, when he sits down here, you know, we always talk about it, and he speaks, he speaks so well. It's easy for the words to come. And he tends to hold people in, you know, oh, yes. yes, when mm -hmm. he speaks. So there's yeah. that. And I can see why a political party will be associated with it. But the question now would be, so what does that party stand for? If the sort of person that they're associated with is described to be a certain type of person who does not, um, you know, who you cannot trust his word, where he says one thing today and he says it with all his might and he even puts his life on the line concerning mm. it and yet he changes his mind the next ah. time. So for that political party, do they realize that this is what they are, um, <laughs> that, 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 that they are um, aligning with? Another thing is maybe the political parties think Nigerians don't care. 
about those values. Mm. Mm. So that's, it's coming back to yeah. us. Do you really care yeah. mm. who is representing who, mm. who is aligning with who? Mm. As long as they can come and talk to you and give you all the sweet words, when they are done, you still be carrying those placards and singing praise mm. and worship song for Fantastic. God towards a human being. So maybe it's really about us. We don't really care. We care. What, are our, what are our values? Oh, but God bless what do you want? Thank you. For, let me take Onoa. I'll come to you, Minima. Mm. Onoa, good morning. Are you there? Good morning. Good You're live. Go ahead, please. And um, all you ladies, I thank you all. Morning. Uh, Morning. You, you are, your program is very interesting. Thank you, the sir. Truth the, the truth in Nigeria is that uh, we have blessed with more than enough for sacrifice. We have people all over, from community level to the village level to the club level, everywhere. Sacrifice have built, have built everywhere. And that is why that why every Nigerian is complaining that Buhari has already destroyed us. People, governors, senators, even from Fanikayadi, after condemning himself that he would rather die than join a better. What did they say from there? I I I think I think I align myself with YK when he says the police in Nigeria is about Self pocket project. People just struggle to just fill their pocket. We don't have the new politicians at all. Only God will save this country because everybody, I, I, I tell you, everybody is a sacrifice. For me to yeah. conclude, I tell you from 2015, having Buhari as the president of Nigeria is a huge mistake. And that PC is the ruling party is a huge disappointment. Thank you, I got Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> is this an indictment on EPC also, you think? I mean, because there are other, I don't know. You see, I, I just want us to realize something. You make your money from fraud. You, you, every Nigerian, I won't say everyone, because some of us have still, value, still have values. But a lot of Nigerians will hail you. They don't care how that money came about. The fact is that you have that money to spend. So you become a papa. Ah, Murado. Ah, Kiniko, Kiniko. She doesn't know whether she's. She don't yeah. care. How she made it. They don't care. care. Now, we need. That's why I say, let us re, rejig our brains. Let us start to educate the younger ones coming. Because for some of us, it's a lost cause. Mm. We are there. Our children mm. that are coming up, mm. our children that are going to take over. How are we going to, because it was, ah, she it was on our, this thing that we saw uh, some uh, politician take rice to some people in Ghana, but they threw the rice back at him. Yes. Ah. Values. Yeah. What are our values, mm -hmm. our core values? Even in Look, this Nigeria. Wait, Nima, let me, I'm so sorry, I have to pause you again. The Peter's been holding for a while. Peter, are you there? I come to Nima. Peter, you're live. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning, Moya. Mm -hmm. I hear me. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I think the issue of the uh, psychopathy has been there for a very long time. Even if we go back to our homes, we find out uh, parents are not asking children questions of how they got this or they got that. Then in Nigeria as a whole, I think this is a... If there should be a law against it, because I always find it hard to believe when I hear somebody defects from a party to another party. It shows... A, a sense of disloyalty. It, sense, it, it shows a sense, you know, you go to foreign countries, you hear somebody in a political party for 20 years, for 30 years. I mean, a sense of loyalty to what he believes. What does he really believe? Does he really love the country? Then you find out people defect from uh, parties in Nigeria just for selfish reasons. Even the president that we have today, how many parties uh, was he before he finally became a president? Those are the things that we're looking at. Uh, what, what is making somebody different? Is it loyalty? But in this country that we are, we find out that a lot of them move out of selfish interest, not actually because of love. Self Look at those people at the video that you just showed us today. How many of them are really affected by a vision industry mm -hmm. or by a former ministry that the same man poses to be a minister of? How many of them? If people just come out because once you have money, you are seen as a god. 
and not actually because of a law for the nation. Thank you so much, Thank Peter. You so much. I have to wrap up. Let me let him add okay, so final for the party, for me, this is where the problem is. I think for if the party think is eloquence, empty eloquence is something of value. I wonder, because for some of us, I can't even see content anytime he speaks. And for you to say this person has some value that he's bringing, for those governors who packaged him and sold him to the president, who spent time with him, and you say, you know, I was with governor of social state, I was with governor, you know, and the one who, who mistakenly announced his defection much earlier when he was still prizing himself, that some people call it research. This is a man who's not been able to keep family itself together. Which value does that person bring to you? In some countries, this is what you check of a person to be sure that this is a leader who can lead. Someone who can make compromises and make his immediate, his immediate uh, territory work before you talk about a national. Well, he's not running for an office yet. He's no, not no, running, no, but he's just joining he, the party. He can't. He hasn't run for any office in his entire career of in politics. He's an appointee of government. He's lo lo uh, he, he locks around office, uh, the power offices for what he gets. So he's probably waiting. Just like the last caller said, this is a person who, I don't know how we prize loyalty, but. Loyalty goes, it goes to the very core of everything. This is someone who has never mm. stuck to one person. So loyalty is something he lacks. Mm. What exactly is the value that he's now bringing to, yeah. to anybody? Appointment as Minister of Aviation, we, we, we still have issues with aviation. Well, we have and, to wrap and, up and, uh, information, what exactly will he bring? We will continue to monitor the story because I want to know what exactly, what this, as I said, what, what was, what, what's being calculated. Is it for him to become spokesperson of APC? Oh. Is it because... Be Minister of Campaign Information? Officer? Is it because to be to take Garba Shehu's job? Is it just become to be VP? Let us know what, what, what exactly did he become for God? Oh, just no, a member we, we, of the party. Or just a member, <laughs> just okay, so that he's in the <laughs> <laughs> fold. Elder in the Southwest Representative. Okay, we will continue to monitor for Mr. because he's, he's, um, the campaign is still news. I mean, still mind boggling, and Nigerians are still asking lots and lots of questions. He's the epitome of what not to be mm. in life. Thank you, He's the epitome. Yes. We're here to see him at Bodilon. And I'll really, I'll, I'll really uh, be surprised to see him. I doubt it. I seriously, I, I'll be shocked if he comes They had their differences. Because if he comes to body loan, I'll be really shocked. I mean, that, that one will shock me. Politics, you know, you never say. know. Hey, they don't have permanent friends, right? No permanent friends. So let us, let, let's, let's just see what happens. Interest. Let's go on a break. When we return, move on to other stories. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. 
now with over 1.5 million listeners every day. We're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All time and place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. to stay with us moving on to other topics so you know we've been discussing the apapa gridlock so join us on the show now is the chairman of the united truckers forum nigeria association of road transport owners narto n-a-r-t-o prince hassan adekoya he'll be discussing the never-ending papapa gridlock and the chaotic situation along that axis the ripple effect on our economy and other situations welcome welcome sir good morning good to have you on the show thank you for having me all right, so... I'm sorry, um, Nigerian Association of Road Transport owner Tax Force Chairman. Tax Force. Yeah, the yeah. United Trucker has no chairman yet. We only have seven-man committee. Oh, thank you for correcting that. Thank you. All right, so um, because we have a Nima who lives in that axis, so should we get a daily update on what's happening? Well, it's good that we have you here because you are you're part and parcel of the Truckers Association and you can give us a clearer view of why there still isn't some sanity in that region. Give us an idea of what you see as a problem. Thank you. We also grew up there, being a stakeholder, we grew up in the industry. Like I said to my colleagues and to, whole, to all, every Nigerian, that the situation in, in Apapa, it's affecting all Nigerians, not just Apapa, not just Tinkan, not just here in Lagos. It affects all our needs, and um, all of this ball back to us, either we like it or not. The Apapa gridlock, it's, a artificial, it's an artificial thing, and like I repeat every day, we can end it in three days, mm. because the policies behind all of this, if those policies are not reviewed, we'll continue to live in it. If those policies are not reviewed, okay. we'll continue to live in it. And um, now we have a TTP app. They are not doing well. If those policies are not reviewed, we will end up saying, okay, we want to come up with another team. And coming up with another team, we'll end up having worse. Worse okay, situation. Okay, so that you understand. I want people mm -hmm. at home to understand you. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the app about? Mm -hmm. How does it work? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And why is it failing? <clears throat> TTP app is a truck transit pack. Um, you now came in ETO app. The ETO will have to go online to do our booking. Here, you can easily do your booking. Okay. You can be in Kano, US, anywhere, do your booking once you have the app on your phone. Okay. So you are supposed to be called in when it is your turn. So okay. we are talking about the trucks now? Yes. Okay. 
the trucks are supposed to be called in. Now, in a situation whereby we have the, the, the promise to take off human interference, mm -hmm. and now we have more, more, more in human interference on the app. Because while me, I am in the park, I'm waiting for my turn to be called in, then some, some men that have gotten their connect within the MPA system, they have to manipulate the TTP. You see, they have their, their max booking overnight. Mm. My trucks are in the park. I'm waiting for me to be called up. Then those that has, act that has, has access to the max booking, you now find them on the road in the morning, midnight, anytime. Mm. So that is the manipulations. So on somebody's the app. hacking into the system. So, so what's happening? Somebody is hacking. So you're on the management the okay, mm. of the system. The, the management, management of the system. hacking for themselves. Mm. So let's just say, let's put it like this. So we're on a queue, man, no waiting man. for our turn. But there are some group of people that may have access yeah. uh, with those in management. Mm -hmm. So they'll bypass everybody, skip the line, and then they will go ahead, even though you have booked already. Who are these people? Can we be naming these people and saying, OK, if you cannot name them, where, which office is doing this thing? Can mm -hmm. we say it? Let so us stop the playing is. all these hanky panky. These are the people that, have to go, that will need to go to Donald Trump in the US or go to the Great Britain to get a letter to come over to the system here and say, OK, I want to have my way. And wanting to... They're highly connected. That's yeah, true. they're wanting to... Maybe I am in charge here on the road and I have gotten a letter from Donald Trump. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is from Donald Trump. I'm going to be sending my family over to the U.S. someday. I want a favor from him, too. So I need to get it done mm. for him to have access. Mm. So just come on, man, that have just two trucks that has nobody. Mm. Even in, at the embassy, you find them back. Mm. So we're saying those with the big... So it's corruption, yes. pretty much. large yeah. corruption. So yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I know you have plenty of questions. No, I just want I to... Because you are saying change these policies. What exactly are these policies that need changing? I think you should just lay yeah. everything out on it. Let us try and solve this problem. All the policies around MPA, those policies have created several issues within. We, the youth in the industries and our leader, several will say to them, we cannot trade our future. These things are not right. Let's put things this way. We end up sending us on suspension because... For example, oh, what, give us one policy. policy that's... Okay, like now our leaders will say to them, we don't have to take this. Let's stand on this. Which one? The ETO? The, the ETO, ETO, even before the arrival of the ETO. Okay, which one is that? Before the arrival of mm. the ETO. Because our, our leaders, are, most of our leaders are afraid of their bank going from million maybe to zero. So you're saying I don't small, understand. small businesses. Okay, please. You're saying small businesses and small players in the field are the ones suffering the most from yes. this. Are you people larger in number? Because this is investigatable. I want to see how much of it can be found out by anybody sincere in government. So if I am a player A is a major player, and, but he's supposed to only get a truck in part time, and it is seen on, on the register or on the records that his trucks go 100 at a time, that is corruption, certainly, because he can't register 100 trucks per time. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yes, of course. Yeah. So that's, you can be, it can be researched. Mm -hmm. that, and that's before A2. Before ETO, ETO, we have that. ETO, ETO is the app. The app. No, no, okay. Yes. ETO is the... The TTP, um, the, TTP, the truck transit pack, then you have to go and download the app. Oh, okay. the, no, the one Lagos is um, electronic tra um, truck... Um, I've, I've forgotten the um, okay. details okay. for ETO. it. But ETO, it's supposed to be create a pack for them somewhere, give them numbers. They go online, they register their truck, and they are on a call-up system. E call up system for trucks. So when a truck is called, they move into a papa. They're yeah. supposed to move seamlessly because they've so been Nima, called. So it is the dishonesty on the part of the management because yes. you created an app, yet you are not going by the app. You are going by connection. Yes. With man who no man. Now, yes. From what he's saying. Yes. The truck your association, the uh, traffic trans task force. Uh, you know the one transport task force created by the Lagos State Government. Yes. And the operators of the LPA, all of these three people, yes. know what is happening. The way I studied it before it was launched, because I had an inkling about the app and the, the, in fact, the person who brought it in, was supposed to ease the situation we had there. All the parks created by pre previous administrations in Lagos State were supposed to be used for trucks. So we don't have you guys on the road, on our bridges everywhere. Only when you're called will you use this facility, add it straight to your business, do it and get out. This is supposed to be an easy thing. But if you have people calling, cutting, that con cutting corners and being forced to park on the roads, or the people in MPA locking them because they've not collected their share, something is wrong. Right, okay. So your guys too, you, yeah. you, and you must be willing to mention names. Yeah, you see, 
We are supposed to go through park, like you said. There is a satellite park. There is a pregate. But the funniest part of this, the game here, while it was about to kick off, we we submitted like 27 parks. None of those parks was approved because they know we're going to unveil some things, and they never want that to happen. What do we have now in return? All the holding bay around the Amoa Dolphin. They granted them a pregate. They can just pregate to the port. And none of these bonded terminals, none of these uh, holding bay has the capacity to take 20, to pack 20 trucks in them. And that is not supposed to be so. Yes, let me understand yes, pregate. So pregate, are they like garages where yes. these are, have been licensed garages that they go from there to the port? Yes. But you already had garages that would have taken the like uh, 500 large... trucks, 1,000 trucks. But they did not approve those. No. What were the reasons given for not approving those um, garages? They just declined them. Okay. Because of their policy. We have bonded terminals, oh, sorry, holding bays around the world of it. All of these, old, most of these holding bays were granted a pregate. Were granted what? A pregate pack. Yes. Like you can and just approve, straight. you can just approve to the port. Mm. So now this bonded terminal leaves a box on our truck. We have like 20,000 of them. There's no way to park. They hang around Lagos Road. Hmm. That policy takes... So why is NP... So who's supposed to do that approval? That, that, is it NPA or is it the Lagos State Government? It yeah. is NPA. Then they are supposed to, Lagos State Government are supposed to supervise it, but they don't understand the game. Mm. NPA only make all of these trucks available on Lagos Road for the last mile. They just keep fishing on our trucks. Then we have to go to Makopo Market and be pricing and buying our trucks back. Hmm. They are just fishing on trucks. They are not aware of all of this. Mm, okay. Lagos State don't know what is happening. No, no, no. no. What the the MPA, MPA, they have a cabal. That is the truth. So this cabal now are the real problems yes. of that Apapa port. So what you're telling us now is that if I go to Apapa now, the trucks are still full on the road. Yes. Because they are not in the terminals or yeah. wherever the parks where they're yes. supposed to be. So the only thing to, we can do is to demand the resignation of the head of MPA. Yes. Oh, he's God. The new acting MD yes. had a meeting with us like on the seventh, mm. and okay. he said to us he wants to partner, he wants to end all of this because he's put the question across to him that do you want to end it? And he said yes, he wants to end. It. He wants to partner with us. Every information we have, we need to work with him yeah. so he can end it. And we said to him, okay, we're going to give you a try. We have this. Um, there's this TTP account, which MPA mandates us to pay eleven thousand naira into an account okay. on Lagos Road, not accessing the port, just mm. to access a light terminal. Okay. Around the Kiri Kiri, light stamina. So, MPA, if you don't 11, have a payment per month or per year, per truck. Per if truck. you have 10,000 trucks coming through that road, you have to they pay, pay 11,000 11, each, oh. apart from the ETO app payment. Mm -hmm. So, they, they, we pay this money through an a syndicate, then they truck into a tr truck transit park. When we say put this before the acting MD, the acting MD says he's not aware, he was never aware of this. Then the TTP officials say they are not aware of it. The port manager in Kani said he has never heard about ah, this. So who is collecting the money? So we now, the acting MD said, do we have any um, proof? We now brought account number, they type it, they, have, they, they saw TTP. The TTP denied. Then immediately the acting MD, we saw okay. a leadership quality in him that is ready to do something. Then he assigned his men to go and put up a letter. The DIG was in the meeting, AIG, I think, yeah. He summoned him. Then he said, we have to continue. We said, we are not doing anything. We are not saying anything. Not until we see your action on this force. OK, then let, me, let, me, let me go on a break. Because mm. there's a lot of information mm. I'm trying to understand. Because this is a perennial problem that we need to fix. Let's go on a break. We'll try to get some, make some sense out of this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you our viewers will have the opportunity to call in and share your views after all it's your view join us on your view 9 a.m to 11 a.m for a fantastic conversation don't for washing and removing yellow stains i have been using it for years oh madam the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes to disinfect the toilet properly
How we're doing, guys? Is the makeup in progress? Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All team in place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights. Are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Thanks for staying with us. So we're trying to get to the bottom of the problem. And even for me, if you ask me, I'll say I'm even more confused. But the truth is, I want you to really expl explicitly explain to us that corruption part of the fact that you pay 11,000 Naira, and yet the money is being remitted, yet the organization is saying they have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't understand how that, that's possible. Thank you. When we met with the I'm acting MD on 7, we have most of the board, all of the board members there. The port manager thing can't deny. He said he knows every one of us, but I've never heard about this 11,000. The TTP as well, they denied. Then get on, get, getting them the um, account, the final it was TTP. Then they asked them, they say we must not pay that money okay. any longer. That same day, they, see, they are still there collecting. The following day, not until on the 14th, that we had a meeting with Lagos State Government, Ministry of Transport, I said on the 15th, then the, the collections still continue. I now sent uh, one of our, our PRO to go there to get me some evidence because they will keep saying to you they need evidence for this, evidence for that. Okay. On getting the evidence, we send the video, they, they deny it that it is not real. Then I had to tell him, okay, pay. 
the 11,000, get me the receipt. We now pay the 11,000 for that same date on the 15th. He got me the receipt. I also I sent back to them as well. What we have in return that day, we now notice that they now send the issue and a communique that the 11,000 naira collection has been put on hold. Now, when we talk of corruption and in part of the policy, if they can come out officially on 11,000 naira collection on the road, not through going to the port, accessing a light terminal, tell me then you are now accusing law enforcement of collection, accusing every other man or woman collecting on the road. That is the genesis of the corruption. That is the genesis of the extortion. That is the genesis of the gridlock. All of those policies have to be reviewed. Who okay. truly wants to get it right? So these are two levels. First mm -hmm. of all, we are circumventing the effect, the, 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 app, app, the app itself, mm -hmm. right? That's one. Secondly, we're extorting officially from these same people. Mm -hmm. So it's two levels of corruption we're seeing here. You're not allowing the process to flow because the right thing is for, for you to book and then be called. Yeah. But those of you that have connections with the management, finally, we just skip the line and then you go ahead. And those of you on the road too are being asked to pay 11,000 naira. <laughs> Excuse me, those people that are getting the, uh, uh, skipping the line and jumping, mm -hmm. are they to pay the 11,000? They pay, everyone pays. Everybody pays. You know, when the app was introduced, our leaders negotiated 5K, 10K, they end up agreeing on 10,000 naira. Yeah. Then, on a rather of it all. To No, to access the, to, to access the, the app. Report. Okay, the app. To do, the, okay. to do your booking. They're going to charge your account. Yeah. You have so an because account I, Because I have to wrap up soon, I'm so sorry, Mr. Hassan. Those who are skipping the line, do you know who they are? Are yes, they known course. names? We know them. Who are they? They are, they, they, they are trucks that are branded with the Chelsea name, Manchester United, Arsenal. Who they are out, them? out who there. Who owns them? Truckers. So are they part of the association? They are not part of the, our association. This is what MPA do. Chelsea. They say there is, there is freedom of association, then they have multiple associations to continue with the damage control in the industry. I beg, mm. this, I this man has this to come is back. Like this. this is speaking in codes. I don't it's, know. It's it's Chelsea. No, 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 no. We have to enter so inside a way where to They can belong to whatever association they like. Mm. So if my association as much as Manchester, now we will have powerful connection. You people that have truckers, whatever, like with your station, you can just, you can yeah. just go to something, something else. Okay. And when you're so, trying to say this is how you have to be the, right, they, are, they just empower them okay. to override every one of you guys. Mm. So it's divide and rule that is happening at the MP. Mm. You, you're divided properly so that proper so, corruption I, will continue. I bet this kind of man... So are you saying Lagos State? Excuse me. Okay. Well, we have not talked about tankers, This kind of person cannot come for five minutes and then he will go. You have to sit down and interrogate him, get the names, let us cook. Why can't we do this? Break the table. Break the table. Break the table. Who is why can't we? Is it us that wants to go and arrest them? No, no, no. Because we're exposing them. We're doing our own. We're not saying their names. Who are the people who are listening cannot say the name here? They are saying, we should not come and say, I think it's United, Arsenal, and Chelsea. I don't know who those ones are. We have to run. Because it's the head of the tax force. I have to. We rock need all of them this, that are uh, decision makers. Then, if we want to change, is this it our thing? uncle Dangote? Because we know Dangote. Dangote is our uncle. No, it is not. It's not Dangote. Dangote. Okay, just think. because that's the only one me I know. Dangote. Yeah, sure, he's not the one. He's not a trucker. Yeah, he okay, doesn't, he doesn't have a truck. He doesn't carry container. He doesn't carry container. We are talking to people that have nothing to do. Tanka have nothing to do with the old. Tanka have. Let's make power some more. Do you people should carry your wallet and go? This is it. Tanker can tanker don't come on the road if there is no product in tank farm. Can you give yeah. us? If we go and load now, they load in the jungle. See what they do. They so don't always come have, on the road if Mr. they don't have product. I have to wrap up since you are not telling us anybody, but it's all good. We understand. We have to wrap up on this, uh, but I think no, we've been able to. to we have a we have a, an, a glimpse of the problem that you're dealing Small. with, yes. and we hope that the NPA is listening. And um, when we keep talking about this. We know that there are ways to fix the problem. Just that sure. people are refused. We in Nigeria, in, in, in three days. In three, in three days. days. If we stop the Nigerian problem, the Nigerian factor, this Nigerian factor right here. Stop calling Nigerian corruption. When we start mm. glamorizing, glamorizing the names, that's why we get mm. away with it. It's just corruption. corruption. Stealing and thieving, collecting monies that you're not supposed to collect. It's going into accounts and you say you cannot trace who the person, the person that is collecting it. Okay. I don't get. Ah. This is we what we're saying. This corruption has when to stop. When we come back, we have to, <laughs> it's Tuesday, so we cannot but say something on health. When we come back, we continue with this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. At
TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With these bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. How we're doing guys, is the makeup in progress? Makeup, check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script, check. Are we set in the PCR? All time in place? PCR, check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set, 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. How we're doing guys, is the makeup in progress? Makeup, check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script, check. Are we set in the PCR? All time in place? PCR, check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set, 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it.
child expert company that offers assessment, behavior modification, nutrition, school integration, amongst others, to individuals with neurodevelopmental disorders. She will be discussing neurodevelopmental disorders in children with special needs. Thank you for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you. All right, so we always like to talk about children, but children with special needs don't get enough attention. How do we identify these children that need special that have that need special needs and how do we begin to create some kind of environment to help them to learn better okay um first we'll say that it's their parents that first notice these things because it's mothers mothers are very um, um, perspective perspective yeah they notice these things they see their child they like there's something wrong with this child and also they ask questions but because we do not have enough awareness, we do not have enough knowledgeable people in that field. So sometimes they are mis misdiagnosed. They like, they just get. No, most of them, they tell them to go to church, go to mm. church, go pray. The your child will be delivered, or they take them to deliverance homes and all that. So that's that's basically it. But now, well, people are getting to know more, and then because now it seems as if it's on the rise. That we have more kids having one issue or the other. And also now people are coming to get more aware. Then parents are not so much in denial anymore. They are beginning to ask questions. Okay, what can I do to my child? How can I help my child? What do I need to do? Is there, is there, was there something I did wrong? Mm -hmm. Or is, is there, they just ask questions now. People are asking more questions. So it's more, it's better now than it was a couple of years ago. So if I'm watching this for the first time, I'm thinking, so what are these neurodevelopmental disorders? And what are the signs? Okay. Now, it's because it's a wide, it's wide, neurodevelopmental disorders are a lot. There's autism, there's ADHD, there's cerebral palsy. Like I said, it, there's Down syndrome. These are things that affect the brain. Sometimes it could, so we say that it could be caused by a medical condition, like cerebral palsy is, is medical. So you can see that, you, there's, there's, um, how would I explain it now? There are physical features. When you, when you see them, you know that, okay, this person has CP. But for someone that has ADHD or autism, mm -hmm. you can't see them. You, they're just like every child that you would see. But you just see that a bit, maybe like mm -hmm. growing up, there's a bit of delay. Then you don't or probably talk early. Or yes, or behavioral. Maybe you get to a place where, you know, kids would normally play. They get to a place, but you see that he's like in this place that he's like well lit up. He's uncomfortable. The lights affect him. Or he's wearing something. He's scratching. He's... You know, this, you just see these signs and you'll be wondering what exactly is wrong with this child. Or maybe you talk too much, he doesn't keep eye contact, he or she doesn't look at you, you give him food, he's not able to eat. You know, so there are signs. It's like the, the signs, like I right. say, yeah, the right. signs. So you see the signs and then you begin to ask questions. So, so when do you start to worry? When a child has de delayed developmental growth, the, you know, so the stages. Yeah, the stages, When yes. a child is supposed to sit, it's supposed to sit. When so, some children don't sit, sit yeah. some skip. Yes, so true. will not sit at all, they will just walk. walk. Yeah. So what exactly, is, should, that, so you, should you start worrying when a child is skipping? Should you start worrying when a child is just extremely uh, restless? No. Actually, uh, energetic, some that have yeah. this high level of energy. sugar in them. Are you Hyperactive. Yes. Hyperactive, yes. God bless you. Like, you know, you just... So when are these, what are the signs a parent should, should use? Look because out. do you, as, a, as a, um, an expert in this, teach parents to love the children? Yes, no matter irrespective, what. yes. Irrespective. Okay, now, like they say, when a child, when your child is born, there are some signs, you know, when you look at a baby and then you smile at the baby and the baby smiles back, laughs, you coo at the child and the child responds back. But when you see have a baby that doesn't do that, those are like red flags, we call them red flags, you begin to check. But that doesn't mean that there's something there's wrong with something that child. There. There's sometimes that some kids don't speak early. We have found out that it, um, it increases with the generation. What do I mean? If a father, maybe he didn't talk oh. until when he was one, there's a, there's a high possibility that the child will probably have delayed speech also. So that oh. is one, yeah. But those are, like I said, they're red flags. It doesn't mean that that child has this delay, but you just be careful. You begin to look out, okay, is there something? Maybe my child isn't speaking. I'm talking to my child, and my child is quick to, like, want to run away, or maybe he's playing... Typical child will play with toys, mommy and daddy, this is this and all that. But your child doesn't do that. You go to a place and the child is just like away. He doesn't want to play with anything. He, does, he plays with toys in a repeated way. Like you can imagine, okay, let's say this is my phone. And then everything must be arranged in a certain way. When you tilt it, the child throws tantrums. 
in quotes, you know, so those are signs that you look out for to like, what, okay, there's something, there's something. Like I said, it doesn't categorically say this is what is wrong with the child, but there are red flags. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you just need to like begin to notice and like look out for. As so are, are teachers in Nigeria trained for these? Because I know, I know it seems like not everybody's trained to have that kind of patience for these children who are special. They have special needs. How do we help teachers to be, to help them learn? Well, at, yes, there are trainings for these kind of things. There are, there are trainings, but it's like it's not a general thing because, it take, like you said, it takes a lot of patience. And then you have to be passionate about what you do because it's not like it's like the extreme ones that we see that maybe have to go to special schools. But in regular schools, there are kids there that will probably, in those days, we'll call them Olodo because they didn't mm. learn early. Mm. They were always behind. It was because they didn't find the right way to teach these kids. Mm. There are some kids that were in class that just need, maybe like now I'm talking, I'm talking very fast. The kid might not understand. But because there's a generalized way of testing us all, mm -hmm. that kid will probably be like, oh, no, that kid is, doesn't yeah. know anything. Mm -hmm. But if I know that child and I take my time, I'm like, okay, this is, maybe give the child extra support. So extra support. Maybe like after school, I sit down with the child, I explain better. They do better. So I think, like I always explain, everybody has a special need. It might just not be as pronounced as, as others. So we just need to know what it is. Our teacher strain, well, because like I said, awareness is, is increasing, so we are getting better. But I've also come to realize that we do not have enough hands. We do not have enough hands. Like, okay, the state, the state is trying because it's doing a lot with um, physical disabilities and all that. But for those that have neurodevelopment, like autism, like I explained, autism is not a same thing. You can't see it. So, yeah, so you take your child to, um, to school and the teacher doesn't understand. The teacher is shouting, the teacher is beating, or after your child gets tired and really gets the child to the side. And, okay, don't worry, sit down. They just come to class, you pay your school fees, and they're there, and then the child doesn't learn anything. And we know these days they just keep pushing them, they keep, because every parent doesn't want their child to, like, repeat a class or do anything. So, so your parents are listening to you right now and thinking, what do I do? So I have a child who's autistic or who's a slow mm -hmm. learner. They aren't doing what I've gone to the school. The school have said they're doing their best. They have trying to put... And, and I'm getting frustrated. I don't know what to do. What would you tell the, that parent? One, I would ask the parents to read up, to research, find out what exactly is wrong with your child. There are actually, there are actually places in Lagos that, that run tests and all that. We, and then we, I do that also. But one thing I always tell the child that nobody knows your child better than you. So what you should first do is write down these things that you have noticed. You mm. must list them out so that when you're talking to a specialist, you can say, I noticed this. My other, maybe I have another son. My other son did this early, but this one isn't doing that. Okay, is there cause for concern? So the those are the, you, like I said, you need to write down what exactly you've noticed. That way I can help, I can build up on that. Because like I said, I don't live with your child. It's what you say to me that will be able to explain to you, tell you, okay, this and this and this is what you should do. Uh, oh. so I was okay. just going to ask you, because before the show, you were saying in the days like 20, 30 years yeah. ago, we would just beat the you autism out of the child. Yes. So is it possible to beat autism out of a child? No, no, I, I don't mean beat it out. I mean... Like, okay, let's assume now. You know when after you beat a child for so long, the child becomes conditioned. conditioned. Mm. So he doesn't want to, ex even when he, he would exhibit them, but he would try not to. You see them, those are kids that you see that they've been subdued. Maybe that's the right word to use. They've been subdued. They've been beaten so much to submission. So they just don't do anything. And mm. after a while, they, you keep hearing people tag those children. You hear them say, ah, that child, very... Shima yeah, yeah, Shima Shima you know, those kind of ways. So that's, so mm. that's it. Mm. Okay, so for me... You know, what I find a lot um, curious are the ones that you say you cannot see anything physical. Cool, yeah. So how do you separate how do you separate a stubborn child from a child that needs help? Okay. So this child is just stubborn. Just talk to him or sit him down and I explain to him and he'll grow out of the stubbornness and know it may be ADHD or something. something. Okay now now let's even assume the child is stubborn. There's something like they always say behavior is learned. So whatever um, behavior we, um, we allow, it grows, it, gets, it keeps increasing. But the behavior we work on, that we correct, it, goes, it decreases. So even if a regular child is, is stubborn, there must is something that is instigating that stubbornness. So we need to find out what that thing is. Is it that he's trying to communicate something and you're not understanding? Or you know how it is sometimes some parents have set ways of raising their child? And the child will say, no, as in trying to pass across the media and the parents are not listening. So that brings out aggression or stubbornness in them. Now, to bring it, out to, to bring it down to a child that, is, um, that has a need or has a special need or something, there's, when the child is being, there are signs that you'd see, like I explained. It's a, 
for someone that has ADHD, they are very hyperactive. If you see them, they walk, a lot of them walk on their toes. They don't walk like, they, they're like, um, like uh, you know, they can't sit down still. They're jumping up and down. That is a sign. So you can see that already. And like, this isn't stubbornness. Because even if you beat them and they sit down for two minutes, they're, they're jumping up again. again. So you know that, okay, this isn't stubbornness. There's something about this child, you know. Then for a child that has autism, there are different signs. Because it's a spectrum, it's not... One person, one person might have this, another person might have this. One person might have light issue, sensitivity to light. Gets into a place that has too much light, he cringes, he's crying, he's jumping up, he's fidgety. Another person might be sound. Any, any sound that I, might, I and you might hear and not have any issues, the child would it react to the child. Yeah. And then some, some is for clothes. The, the fabrics you use sometimes irritate them. So mm. it's not it's not mm. fixed. It, they have it's like a lot. Right. So, so, so we, we have to wrap up soon, but I, I want you to speak to parents who are going through this because they need to be reassured that this, uh, this can be fixed in Nigeria or that there's hope for their children. Because sometimes just like, I like carry these children abroad or I just go and hide them in the village somewhere and nobody's, you know, you, 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 you feel helpless. So listen to you this morning, maybe somebody can be encouraged that my child can actually get help. Can, this, can, can, can they actually learn at some point? Yes. If we get a lot of attention, I want you to tell a parent. Okay, um, Rhea, for any parent that has a child with a learning disability or anything, there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. It seems like it's, um, it might be difficult. It's a journey. There's no, there's no rocket science. You don't, you, don't, you don't get therapy today, or get a therapist today, and then tomorrow you want results. Mm. Sometimes it might be three months. Sometimes it might be six. Sometimes it might be a year. But it's a journey. You see the progress. You see the change. You, and, you know, so you keep at it. Are there, are there centers? Yes, they might be expensive. But we also try to explain that. You can work with your child at home. You can do all these things, all these learnings and all that. You can work at home. Like I tell my, like a lot of my clients that I work with, if you can't afford the big schools, if you can't afford a regular school, you can work with your child at home. Teach your child colors. Your house has colors. Work with the child. Your, um, the child has, uh, is, um, he, he needs to learn. Work with sand because sand is a beautiful therapy for them. Mm -hmm. Music also is a beautiful way to work with them. So all these things, like I said, there's light at the end of the So you time. can read up and know how to help your child, yes, even you can if you can afford up. a yes, therapist. You, yes, you, yes, you can read up. So that even when the therapist is seemingly going wrong, you can be like, no, that's not how it's done. Uh, why don't you, can we try this, you know, so like that. Is there a cure for autism? No. Let me be to They ask. just manage, as in, it's, we manage it. It's like asking, mm -hmm. is, there, is there a cure for high blood pressure? Is like, do you understand, man? It's like, yes, it's manageable. Once you, and that's why we keep asking, keep saying, early detection, early therapy, start quickly, start on time, you know, so that this journey, you know how it is, the mind of a child is malleable when the child is still young, compared mm -hmm. to when you're starting work with someone that is a teenager or is an adult right. and all that. But right. when the child is still two, three, four, you can still work with the child. There are so many things you can do with the child that the child would be able to learn and function in, with his own capabilities. Yeah. So I think what parents like will be asking yeah. is... What, what parents should do is be pay available. Yes, yeah, yeah. be patient. You can, yes, you can be and impatient. Don't compare yes. your child yeah. with yeah. Yes. And I think yes. what mothers or parents will worry about is that would my child grow up into an adult that can thrive and be independent? Yes. Okay, now let me give let me another yeah, example. Yeah. It's like yeah, in Nigeria here, we're beginning to do that. I think it was was it last year or something? There was a, um, an autistic, autistic boy, a, a guy that got married, he had autism. You know, so they can live a normal, life. Their, yeah, normal life. We just need to condition them, help them early enough. So they, because these kids, as they grow up, they understand what their triggers are. They know what irritates mm, them. So, yeah, so maybe like a child that has sensitivity to light and is coming here will probably wear glasses or would have told you before, I'm, I'm sensitive to light. So you're going to have to either dim your light or do something to help me. So because he knows that already, he would have told everybody around him. So then you can condition your, their environment to be them. What we keep asking is help them be them. Help me mm. be me. Help me be me. Help me be who I That's want to be. Help me to, to try irrespective right. of my difficulties or my disabilities. Mm. Thank you very much, Isadia. Oh, I, I think that, 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 that definitely hit the nail on the hill. Thank you so much for thank you. sharing this with us. And I hope that families out there going having children with neurodevelopmental disorders and see that it is possible for their children to live normal lives. That's all we can take on the show today. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.